Hi, welcome to a2zknowledge.com and to my channel Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about a new package in Python called MoviePy. So MoviePy is a package where you can uh, able to do all kind of media related processing, especially video, audio images. Uh, so you can able to cut the video, you can merge, you can you can export the video after all your edits have done as a image or even as a videos. So so many other options is also there. I recently uh, gone through this uh, movie pie it was really good so i just wanted to share with you and i'm going to explore a lot in this package and uh, in my upcoming video series i'm going to upload uh, different videos on this movie pie so today we can see how we can work with this uh, with some basic examples so here i'm using jupyter lab because i i just wanted to show you some output uh, via this jupyter lab this movie pie for some reasons like it, it supports uh, uh, the output format in uh, Jupyter lab only so now yeah it, it also support various other ways but I am I'm using the Jupyter lab so I have already installed it so if you want to know how to install Jupyter I have uh, I have a video in my playlist you can find the playlist link in the description box of this video okay so here uh, you have to install this MoviePy package so you can use pip install MoviePy from your command prompt you can install the uh, package so once that is done uh, you can start your uh, Jupyter lab uh, and then you can go to browser and then you can go with this URL so here uh, I'm doing from import sorry from moviepy.editor import star so I'm importing all moviepy.editor related functionalities the dependencies the packages and then clip a variable I'm creating video file clip is a function in which you have to give your input video on which you want to do all your processings so here I'm I'm doing clip dot subclip it's all about like you want to uh, uh, export or you want to trim a video with respect to the given time frame so here 0 is the starting time and 5 is the ending time the first argument of this method is start and then the last argument is end of the video so I'm giving 0 comma 5 that means 5 seconds of the video okay and then uh, if if the next thing is ipython display means ipython means i wanted i want this output to be get displayed in my jupyter lab and that's what ipython display is all about ipython is nothing but jupyter lab so uh, let me uh, explain you what is this t equal to 4 but before that i i'm going to remove this empty the the function is going to be an empty one so i'll just run this code so what it will do it will just export this five seconds of my video I means uh, the five seconds uh, from this video so I, this video is almost like more than eight plus minutes but I'm just exported only zero to five that is five seconds of video and you can see the output uh, um, this is a video file actually so the output is showing as a video I can able to play this and you can see the time is zero five that means five seconds I'm not sure whether you can able to hear this but I can able to hear this uh, video so if you try this you can able to hear uh, the, the audio as well so now uh, if I want to uh, get a particular time frame of a video as an image not as a video in that case you can go here and mention t equal to some seconds three so that means third second of your video will be converted as an image file so I will run this now you can see uh, the output will be an image it's there is no play button here so it's not a video it's an image okay so now you 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 just wanted to export this image or you want to export this video whatever uh, the time interval that you have specified uh, that you need to export as a video of that five seconds as a file you have to write it as a file then there is an option for you to do that so write video file and then you can give the output uh, file name so here you can use dot mp4 uh, dot flv is not supported so you can use dot mp4 and then uh, I, i'm just going to give this option here next to this okay you can give at any place so uh, now if you see uh, there is no uh, file name in the desktop is my location so i can show you my desktop there is no editor dot mp4 so now i'm gonna run this code so this will create editor dot mp4 and this uh, video file will have only the five seconds of my this video okay this video is more than eight plus minutes so i'm going to just export five seconds of this video i'm going to run this code so I'll be getting output here, which is the image. The output of the last line is just an image of the third second of my video, right? So now I will show you here. See this editor.mp4 got created. I can able to play this and I can able to hear the audio as well. 
and uh, you can see uh, it's five second video right i just exported it and it was really good i, I just recently went uh, through this topic it was really good and uh, i i'm going to explore a lot of other options on this uh, movie pie will share you in my upcoming videos and thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com if you really like this video please do subscribe to channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues we do a lot of tech videos in two languages english and tamil so to get complete python videos the playlist is provided in the description box i have given my linkedin and instagram url in the description box if in case if you want to follow me you can do and i have one more new channel called startup idea please give support for that channel as well thanks for watching